all right all right ladies and gentlemen you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show the truth with ben jokes now nigerians are generally said to be docile people we accept anything that the wicked political class dishes out to us but gradually nigerians are beginning to have enough and the reaction to the pains we are facing is cutting across all the categories of the citizens Whenever Nigerians come out to protest against government, their reaction is always to intimidate the people using security forces. But then, aren't these policemen and soldiers human beings too? Aren't they poor too? Will they continue to let their oppressors use them against common men like themselves? That's a big question that no one can answer 100%. But recently, we are beginning to see some kind of responses from security forces that prove that these security personnel are equally fed up. Three months ago, a soldier took to Facebook to complain about how small their allowances are and that the allowances are not even paid on time. He was with his name tag, his face showed and everything. Another one used TikTok to complain about how his salary could not transport him home to see his family after one year of being away from them shortly after that a female soldier complained about sexual harassment using tiktok before two young soldiers took to twitter to complain about poor treatment this is how a society descends into chaos because they are now throwing caution to the wind they have started and few hours ago a policeman made a video lamenting poor treatment at his post in lagos and how their boss steals their allowances whenever they complain. Before I show you this video and how Nigerians reacted massively, let me quickly show you this video by His Excellency Peter Obi relating the situation going on in Kenya with the Nigerian situation. See the video. What's happening in Kenya? The citizens have been um, um, protesting over tax reforms by the government. But here, some people believe that Nigerians have been very docile. And do you think that we have actually been very docile in Nigeria, given the harsh economic realities of the time? Well, you know, uh, let me classify this. I'm against violence. I'm against destruction of government assets and properties. Because that's the same money we are looking at, scarce resources that we're going to use to repair them. I'm not against peaceful protest. But it must be for reasons, not for interest. Often a time here you see protests being to satisfy a particular interest. It must be properly articulated. There's things that is happening that is against and properly directed. Properly articulated and properly directed. So you don't go I recall when people were saying they're protesting against police or any other organization of government. And I said to them, no, let's deal with the leadership. If we have good leadership, their agents can be bad. But what happens here is that Nigerians say, oh, our problem is police. Our problem is EFCC. Our problem is ICPC. Our problem is, I mean, problem, no. The problem is the leadership. If the leadership is, if the leaders are competent, have the capacity, doing the right thing, the agent will throw in the line. You heard that. That was His Excellency Peter will be there saying he supports peaceful protests, not riots, but peaceful protests directed at government, that is the president, in a well-organized manner. Because he believes that if the man in power does the right thing, the police, army, and every other government agency will fall in line, which is absolutely true. Personally, I want to see a situation where Nigerians will hit the streets to ensure that election results are transmitted from the polling unit to the IREF. Because if that is done, the APC cannot return to office. Tinubu was rejected in 2023 when he had not even shown his incompetence. You can imagine now that all has gone awry under him.
but will Nigerians ensure that they kick the APC out in the ballot and in the streets? Only time will tell. Now, let us look at that video where this policeman threw caution to the wind and criticized the service for poor treatment. See the video. Hello, good morning, everyone. I want to use this media to inform the house, people in as many platforms, to really tell you that where we are being posted, no good ventilation, no toilet, no good water, and where we are living, since rain started, we have been mobbing. Any tiring force, we doesn't, we doesn't have rest. We will mob until the rain stop. Even when the rain stop, we will still be mobbing. We have to stay, we don't have. Open the place to our own uh, area where we live. This is the abandoned house there. No roof. And as soon as the rain is falling, no thing, your water will be dripping down straight to the district. And this is the opportunity to dress, and this is my name, you are Emmanuel. I want you to know that the admin, Super uh, Boniface Zebedi, at the time you call him, he will be insulting you. He own is, the moment you just talk to him, he will seize your allowance. He will say the opposite there, anything you like, you want to spoil uh, Asco beat, this is the beat Asco, the estate, swampy area. A bad one upstairs where they kept us. You will see now. I'm coming down from the stairs. Look at water everywhere. Look at water. Swamp. This is what we follow to our house. Look at it. We'll be moving. Pulling our shoes. Pull our, look at it. Water. Pull our shoes and our trousers and our uniform. This is what we follow to our place. We'll be dragging ourselves, managing to come and see where we live. Please, sir. I want the house. I want to assume it himself. Anybody who lay on this particular clip should look at it critically. If really I'm telling lies. And now I'm going inside now for you to come and see that this is what we are passing through in Lagos, Lakwa area. And this is Lagos, so let it be you. Sir, I want you to, to, to be watching. Just you saw that. Now, I don't know if anybody is ever going to come to the rescue of this guy and his colleagues who have been posted to that dilapidated building. But what this video depicts is that military and paramilitary personnel are starting to throw caution to the wind. This video alone can cost this man his job. It can even bring legal actions upon him. But he doesn't care. He has had enough. Very soon, politicians will gather, you know, during all those their gatherings. And one personnel, one military or paramilitary personnel will just open fire on all of them. That is the level the government is pushing people to. Nigerians are gradually coming to a level where they don't care anymore. The state of the economy and the insensitive attitude of the reckless ruling class is pushing Nigerians to that point. People cannot afford to feed and you are buying SUVs for hundreds of millions, building mansions and taking useless trips. And in the words of Kenneth Okonkwo, anarchy looms. Let's look at how Nigerians reacted to this video. Let's take some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here by Omar Baolani, he says, At Bayonanuga, how far is Tinubu still buying the private jets? If no, Please, our men of police need good accommodation package so they can function well. Tell your ogre to use the jet money for police welfare. That is it. He's mocking by Ononuga there. Look at what policemen are going through and you are buying jets. And this tweet by Abiodun says, The police authority will come for him soon. The living conditions are so terrible. And Dozier replied, he said, he's already fed up. I'm sure he understands that. That is it. The man has had enough. This is how you push a society into chaos. When they keep talking like this and you think picking them up will solve the problem. <laughs> Nigerians are docile, but are we going to continue to be docile? This tweet here by Madaki says, Kenya is coming to Nigeria soon. I love your courage for calling him out. Nigerian politicians, your days are numbered. Inshallah. And Chioma replied, she said, are you sure? Our leaders know us more than you think. They know how to set us up. Yoruba against Igbo, North against South. 
brother against brother the pattern continues and we keep buying it without shame actually this is what they do set nigerians up against themselves and when we cannot unite how do we protest nigerians must keep these sentiments aside and know the game that this political class is playing and this tweet by Oi says it's obvious this country can't manage its size break the country into smaller independent nations so each ethnic can develop at its pace divide nigeria to save lives if, if we can't get it right then dividing it is not a bad option and tuni here says the next thing you hear is that he has been arrested that is what they do that is what they do and this tweet by eastern warrior says i don't like the police but you see this matter here it is appalling how will this man handle a rifle and still maintain discipline with this nightmare as a home the police too deserve to be treated right they are not sacrificial lambs they have mental health too this is just appalling mm. and hero here says if you start protest you'll be throwing tear gas when you know the protesters are also protesting for you and your kids i'm happy these police officers are also feeling the heat we must learn a lesson that is it it is touching everybody if this is how it has to be for nigerians to learn then so be it and this tweet by prince Kell says this is sad look at our police officers meanwhile tinubu wants to buy a new private jet this is not fair now i'm telling you but this is the apc i don't expect anything less these guys don't care about the people the next thing you hear is that they have arrested this guy they will not even look at his complaints that is not their forte that is not what they came to do they only came for the treasury it is nigerians who are the receiving end i must say no this cannot continue we cannot continue to suffer in our fatherland a land that flows with milk and honey yet will be treated as slaves nigerians must think in this direction keep their sentiments aside and come together and kick the apc out of power so that we can begin to live and not just exist but until then make i still enter town <laughs> make i go get some Ogbonge political news where when i go like why because now because of now now i day here so don't go away don't go away.